the three questions that I put up there are, the first one is which age class produces the highest number of female offspring? So the first thing that we should recognize is this is a five by five matrix, which means we have five age classes. And um, traditionally, we start the numbering at zero. So traditionally, this is coming from my age zero, my age one, age class two, age class three, and age class four. Since that top row represents the average number of female offspring, this is the highest number, which means that my age class four females produce the highest number of female offspring. On average, 82 female offspring per breeding cycle. Um, and this particular model I found in last year's textbook in our old textbook, and this is modeling a population of trout. So my next question on there, what percentage of age class two individuals survive to age class three? So there are two ways that I can find that. I can either think about each of these rows as telling me what's happening, what's happening in each age class sort of next year. So this is next breeding cycles, zero year olds, one, two, three, and four. So if I want to know who's surviving um, to age class three, I can look in my third row to find that 16%. I could also think about it in terms of the columns. So the column is telling me which age class it's coming from. So this column is coming from age class two individuals. So if I think about this column, it's saying each age class two individual has on average 37 female offspring and 16% of them are going to survive to become age class three. That last question, can age class one females reproduce? And the answer to that is no. Because if I look at my first, if I look at the first row, this tells me that my age class zero and age class one females produce on average zero offspring. So that would tell me they're not able to produce, to reproduce. 